What's going on, y'all? How is everyone? Hello, 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 hello. Thank you, Miss Wood, for sharing. Hello, Miss Williams. Hello, Miss Little. Miss Alexander, hello, how are you, my love? Miss Denise, how are you doing? Hey, Miss Joy, girl. Hey, we got YouTube on here as well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How you doing, Miss Kathy? Miss Angeline, how are you, my love? Happy Friday to everyone. Hello, Miss Olivia, how are you? Miss Vitra, how you doing, my love? Come on in here, y'all. Get on all up in here. Hello, Miss Chandra. Sh Sh Shonda. I think I said that right. Shonda. How are you guys doing? Let me give us a little bit more light. I'm in my office today. Well, that may be too much light for us. They may be just a little bit too much light. I'm doing good, Miss Denise. Hey, Miss Wright, how are you? Miss Jero, how you doing, girlfriend? Brian, how are you? Hey, from New Jersey. Welcome, Brian. Brian is, is joining us on YouTube. So, welcome to a Friday Night Live with Gucci Cross. We are live right now on Facebook and on YouTube. Sorry, it's a little bit darker here than I thought it was going to be. It's getting darker in California um, a lot sooner. Hey, Miss Catherine, how are you? Miss Tanya, how you doing? Miss Candice, hey, boo. Welcome, you guys, to Friday Night Live. This is Hey, Miss Jennifer, Friday Night Live. This is episode 102. I'm starting to name the episodes um, so that I can tell people, yes, I just did that on episode so-and-so, so they can go back and watch it. If it's your first time joining me, hello. I want to hear from you. I want you to put first timer um, in the comments if it is your first time. Um, joining me here on Friday Night Live, whether you are watching from YouTube or Facebook. Um, tonight, we are going to be working on mock-ups. So, the holiday season is coming. Um, thank you so much. I love that y'all love me and that y'all watching together, Brian. Um, hey, New Jersey's in the house. Hello, Miss Cindy. Hello, Miss Dixon. All right, so we have our first timer, Miss Alexander. You guys give a big Gucci game welcome to Miss Alexander, Miss Candace. It's her first time. A big Gucci game welcome, Miss uh, Lashonda. Let's give a big Gucci game welcome. Hey, Miss Lavelle, Miss Dixon, welcome. Miss Lavelle, you ain't gonna be talking about some first. First time she lying, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Woods. Welcome to all your newcomers. You'll love it here. Yes, they will. That's my Miss Woods from Cosetta. Hello, Miss Sessions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Miss Olivia giving a shout out. All right. That's right, Mr. Davis. We down with the Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci. Miss Gerald wants to welcome y'all to the Friday night party. Yes. Welcome, Miss Harris. Miss Harris is a first timer. If it is your first time, make sure that you are liking this page. Whether you are watching me on Facebook or you're watching me on YouTube, please, please share. We're going to have a good time tonight. Again, tonight's episode is going to be about mock-ups. So with the holiday season coming and all of us crafters gearing up to make gifts, um, you know, and it, whether it's gifts to sell or it's gifts for your family members, um, we want to, hold on, there we go. Okay. Um, Mock-ups will save you a lot of time, it'll save you a lot of material, and it will help 
um, in the process of customer satisfaction, right? Because when you make this mock-up, and I always say when I do mock-up, do not mock up something that you cannot recreate, right? Um, and then you also want to tell, you, let your customer know that it is a digital mock-up and that you are going to try to get as close to that mock-up as you possibly can um, when making their item. But the mock-ups will save you a lot of material because you can go and you can mock up a shirt and you put a design on it and, you know, if somebody decides to order it, bam, you can go ahead and make that shirt and you're only you're making the order um, instead of making a bunch of things that nobody have ordered. Right. So you can mock up just about anything if you find the right pictures and materials. So we're going to go in and we're going to use Canva. And I'm also going to share with you guys a new program that I just recently found called Photo P um, that allows you to open up uh, Photoshop files. Yes. So you don't even have to have Photoshop to be able to open and edit these files. And then you can also save it as a PNG, a JPEG or as a Photoshop file again, if you would like. Um, and so. This this tonight, I'm really, really excited about I had. um Seen in a couple of groups where people were complaining that, you know, they had May items um, for people and, you know, the person was saying that they didn't like the item, right? Or they didn't like how it was made. Now, now you got to go back and remake this item to your customers liking because they're paying you for it. But if you had to do the mock-up, you could show the, the customer the mock-up. And then they can say, oh, well, you know what? Can you make this letter a little bigger? Can you change the symbol? How about you show me a different font? And that way you're not having to go through and make five different items to see what it is the customer likes. You can do your mock-ups. Mock-ups are also good and they make it um, for good, clean pictures onto your website or good, clean pictures onto your social media. Um, and so, like I said, we're going to use Canva to make some mock-ups tonight. Um, and you can make mock-ups in Canva, which is a free program. You can make them in Silhouette. You can make them in Cricut. Um, there's a new program, like I said, I'm going to show you guys called Photo P. Um, and then if you don't feel like making the mock-ups, I'm going to show you guys a free resource that you can use um, that has a bunch of free mock-ups on them. And we can use those free mock-ups in conjunction with either Canva or um, with Photo P. But we're going to go with Photo P. All right. Hey, DJ. DJ DJ Queen Champion is a first time. All right, welcome. Um, but with Photo P, we're gonna go in and we're gonna use uh, the Photoshop uh, file so that I can show you guys. You can use the Photoshop file with Photo P for the free free y'all. Um, and then um, also uh, showing you guys the free resource where you can get them from. And I talk about them all the time. Yes, Canva is free. Um, Silhouette is free, to, quiet as it's kept, if you download the free program. Um, and then Photo P is a free a free app as well. So we're going to learn some free resources. Hey, Miss Charmaine, girl, we're going to learn some free resources tonight where we can find mock-ups that are already made. And of course, yes, there's always Google where you can go and get some mock-ups from. But then we're also going to learn how to build our own mock-ups. Very simple, very easy, can be done very quickly. And again, it gives you nice, clean cut um, professional pictures that look really nice on social media. They'll look beautiful on your website or even when you're sending out to a customer to get their approval um, on the item. Okay. So let's see who we got. Hey, okay. I just said hey to Miss Charmaine. Miss Angeline is a welcoming our newcomers. Yes. All right. So again, if you haven't already, make sure that you're following Gucci Crafts. Gucci Crafts. Wait, where it is? It's right there, right there, the pinpoint to it. Make sure that you follow Gucci Crafts on YouTube and also on Facebook as well. We are live on Facebook and YouTube right now. You guys, make sure that you are sharing this live. Also, I've started this new thing that I want to do. Um, when you guys, um, um, if you make something similar to what we make doing the Friday Night Live, tonight's hashtag is going to be hashtag SNL mockup, okay? And I'll create a little banner um, that's going to say that I can put onto the screen. Um, and But that's the hashtag that I want to use so that I can go and see what it is that you're making and so I can feature your products. Um, also, if you haven't already, you can join the I Teach Crafts group on Facebook. Um, and the crafts is spelled with the Z, just like with Gucci crafts. But we want to do FNL mock up. 
for tonight's episode. So if you go and you create your own mock-up and make your own mock-up, I want to see it and I'll be able to find it if you hashtag it. Okay. So this is the hashtag for tonight's episode, FNL mock-up, okay? Friday Night Live mock-up. So if you happen to make the same thing or make something similar, that's what I want to see, okay? All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do a roll call. I want to see where you all are watching from. Let me know where you're at. Hey, Miss Alicia. Hey, Miss Tara. Let's see. Let me see from DJ Queen. My daughter bought me a cricket. You spell cricket wrong, girl, but we're going to work with that. I still have it in the packet. Um, you have a video that can teach me step by step how to use it. I actually do right there on YouTube where you are on my YouTube channel. I have a playlist called Cricket for Beginners. Now, it is about a year or so old, but it can still walk you through cricket. Okay. I also am going to have a cricket class coming up very soon. So you'll be able um, to take that cricket class if you like. Thank you so much, Ms. Brown. I love that you love my videos, honey. Yes, FNL mock up. That's what we're going to be putting. So let's see who we got. Where are we watching from? Atlanta, New Orleans, Plainfield, New Jersey, another Atlanta, Alabama, Orlando. Oh, let me see. This is a new one for me, Miss Pamela. This must be your first time. Oz. Oswego, 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 Illinois. Let me know if I said that right. And here's my favorite word to say, Cosetta. Cosetta, Alabama is where Miss Wood is at. Seattle. Miss Candace, you're in Oakland. That's my hometown, girlfriend. Um, New Jersey. Let's see, Memphis, Tennessee. Detroit, Michigan. Menifee, California. South Carolina, Louisville. VA in the house. Shy town Hawaii. Aloha, Ohio. Uh oh, Miss Miss Sharon, you may have found a crafting buddy. And Miss Shonda, she is in Plainville, New Jersey as well. Port Arthur, Texas. We got another Illinois in the house. New York's in here. Lawrenceville, GA, Dallas, Texas. Columbus, Ohio. Harlem, that's right. That's my Miss Kathy Harlem. Let's see, Chicago, Chicago. It's a lot of Chicago in here. New Jersey's in here thick too. Rugby, England. Oh my. Oh my, Miss Candace. You have just made Friday Night Live International tonight, you guys. Rugby, England. Greensboro, North Carolina. Miss Vanessa's in Cali. Orlando, Sugarland, Texas. That's not like a place I want to visit. It's I Teach Crafts on Facebook. Hey, Miss Kim, you are in Maryland. It's the I Teach Crafts group. So I teach, I'm about to put it in the comments, I Teach Crafts group. And that's literally what it's called, I Teach Crafts group. And if you go and, and um, I put that comment down, it looks like it may have popped up on YouTube. Let me see if it'll do all that. Yep, yeah, it did both destinations. So it's I Teach Crafts group. So that's where you're going to find the group. You can go in there and you can ask questions. You can drop um, all of your crafts um, that you make from watching Friday Night Live. Hey, Mr. Tim uh, from Arkansas. Miss Lois is in here from Texas. Camden, Camden, Cam, Camden. <laughs> Say it right. New Jersey. Sherman, Texas is in the house. Y'all, we are all over. And Miss Candace just made us international, just made my night tonight. We all out. We all over there out in Europe and stuff like that, you guys. I'm excited, 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 excited. Okay, so we've done our roll call. We know where we all are from. All right, so let's talk about what's new with Gucci and the I Teach Crafts website, um, I, I Teach Crafts group. So all week, um, a couple of days of last week, um, I had flash sales all throughout the week. Um, on different items um, that are on the website. You guys know that I'm moving from one web uh, carrier to another. ATL's in the house, Miami, all right? I'm moving from one um, um, host, should I say, one website host to another, and I'm having to do that manually. So it's taking me a little minute to get things to come over, okay? Um, also, I am going to revamp 
um, a lot of my classes. And because I am doing that, the classes that are on the site. Hey, Miss Danielle, girl. No, you can watch from Facebook or YouTube, girl. I'm in both places tonight. Okay, um, so the classes that are that are on the site already right now, all of the Gucci Crafts classes tonight, they are all going to be 75% off. So you're going to be paying little of nothing for the classes that are already on the site. They are pre-recorded classes, um, all the classes under um, Gucci Crafts. So if you go to shop and you can look under instructors and you go to Gucci Crafts, all of my classes are going to be 75% off tonight. I'm having sales leading all the way up till Black Friday. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing really hard to debut the new website on Black Friday. If it doesn't happen, the old site will still have a sale um, on Black Friday. But I'm having flash sales leading all through the week. Um, I think what's currently on sale right now is a flash sale is the vinyl transfers, the um, black in color vinyl transfers. They were $9 for the set. Now they're down to $5 for the set. Um, and then also tonight, I have put our round um, Christmas ornaments on to the site. I have these on sale tonight for $2, $2. They're on sale tonight um, on the website for two dollars and that's going to be for tonight they will not go back on sale until black friday so all of my flash sales if you miss them it will come back um on black friday so that is the website www.iteachcrafts.com where you can find those items my love Yeah, 75% off, 75% off of all the classes. And you are going to need a coupon code to get that 75% off of the classes. Let me check and see what our share level looks like so that I will be able to release um, that coupon to you guys. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I have a share goal tonight before I can release that for ya. Um, Let me see, let me log on. Let me log on here to Facebook and see. I'm loving with this, um, the new way that I'm doing things that um, I don't have too much of a lag, okay? All right, so we have 11 shares right now. So I'm going to need those shares to come up to give you guys that 75% off coupon code for all of the classes on the website that Gucci Crafts teaches. When we reach our goal of 50 shares, I will drop that coupon code for you guys. So make sure that you are sharing, 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 okay? Um, tonight, we are also going to play our Gimme 5 game. And like I promised this, last week, this week, we have changed the numbers that you guys will need to come up with. So we're going to play that one a little bit later. Um, I did want to share you guys with you guys my section. Where'd you get that? And I want to encourage you guys, if you would like to be on this particular section of Friday Night Live, the where'd you get that section to inbox me so you can send me your products so that I can help you promote your products. I can give you honest reviews on your products um, on the where'd you get that section of Friday Night Live. So I would rather do it for small businesses, but I am so excited about an item that I just bought um, from HSN, right? Um, to redo my crafting room because I'm trying to just get really organized. I'm trying to go into, into 2021 um, really like super, super organized. Sorry, y'all, I cut my camera off. I am trying to show you guys, let me see. I'm trying to use my other camera to show you guys um, my where'd you get that item. Yes, right, Miss Olivia, share this camera, but I may have to just turn the laptop around to let you guys see it. Um, let me see if I go over to settings. Let's see, camera. Okay, there it is. That's how I have to do it. All right, so we're going to use my USB camera. And we should pop up. There, there I am. Yes. All right, so here we are. So I wanted to show you guys the items that are behind me. Let me get rid of this banner real fast so that you can see it a little bit better. 
So I am in love with these origami crafting carts. They're called a craft, it's a craft and hobby cart. And the brand is origami. They come almost already put together, you guys. Only thing that I had to do was slide the shelves onto the top here, and then this top shelf flips over. HSN has them on Easy Pay right now. I think the Easy Pay is like $159, and you do like six payments. You have, what's that? One, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six drawers, and I ended up getting two of them. They have them in different colors, but I just love how it gave me so much more room in, within my crafting room. So I just redid this and I am in love. I had to share this with you guys. I did not have to put anything together. Only thing I had to do was put the wheels that are down there at the bottom um, onto the cart, but I can roll this around like if I need to move it. Um, I have my Cricut and, and my little cameo up there at the top. Queen just sits there. You see, she got a cover over her. She rarely gets used. But I have, you know, my Cricut. And I just got the maker. You guys, you have to help me name my maker. Y'all know I name all my, um, <laughs> all of my, pro all, my products, all of my machines. But the maker doesn't have a name yet. But um, I'm able to fit them on there. And I have some room. If I can get back to you guys. I have a whole bunch of room behind the cricket so i can pull this forward and say if I, i'm making um an item that is really long if i'm doing something that's really long i can unlock the wheels because i can have the wheels locked or unlocked i can unlock the wheels and i can just pull this out and then i'm able to go ahead and cut i can run all of my crickets at the same time they're all plugged up and ready to go all i have to do is turn them on now one thing i do suggest is leaving the top down the top opens, but to me, it doesn't open like all the way, but all of them are plugged in. They will turn on and work. So I could be running all five of my crickets at the same time if I wanted to. And then here I have my little shipping station so I can ship things over. The drawers are really, really um, heavy duty. Um, and they hold a lot of weight down here in this drawer. I have a lot of weight from bags and stuff down here. Um, and it's holding this on, you guys. And I absolutely love them. Like I said, HSN has them on Easy Pay right now. I believe my Easy Pay was like $159, $149, something like that. Um, and I was able to get them. I'm absolutely in love with them. It's a huge space saver. I have not gotten the joy yet because the only reason why I want the joy um, is so that I can do vending events. And with COVID, there has not been a lot of vending events for me to go out and do. So I don't have the joy yet, but I will be getting the joy. Yes, a printer would fit on it, um, Ms. Gerald, but I would put the printer at the top. Um, these are pretty sturdy. Um, but I know like, like this Epson, like I have my, my 7720 here, the Epson 7720, and then I have the, um, the 7210 there, and I have another 7720 down there. Where is it? I'm trying to point all in the direction. Down there on the floor, right there. Um, but I, I wouldn't put the 7720 on top of it. That thing is just too heavy. I, I wouldn't put the 7720 on top of it. But a regular, like, Epson printer, I mean, I may even put... The 7210, it's not as heavy um, as the 7720 or as bulky. I actually love this 7210. Um, it's a lot lighter, but I, I wouldn't put it on here. And you could you could definitely fit it at the top. And they have um like different um different configurations of this. Let me move myself back to the front camera, y'all. So I know where I'm supposed to be looking at. All right, there I go. Um, they have different configurations of it. So they have, um, and, and different colors. You love, yes, I absolutely, Miss Little says she has two of them. She absolutely loves them. Yeah, the 7720 is, is ridiculously big for no reason. But that is my, where'd you get that, you guys, for this week? Um, I absolutely love these things. And it was even better that I didn't have to put them together. Like they came basically already um, put together. 
fresh out the box. All I had to do um, was open it up and flip over the top, take out the things. And they also have, um, which I didn't add it on. Where are they? I had them somewhere in here. They have a little basket that goes on the side of it. And they also have another little rack where you can put like um, your long paper rolls, um, like wrapping paper, or if you have um, the long rolls of the contact paper um, that you can stick them on the side there too. So they're really, really dope. Hey, Miss Retisha. Yeah, I mean, I would love to have more so of a stand for these prayers, but you know, the printers are so heavy. Right now, what I have them on is just a six foot table, one of those fold out six foot tables. Um, same thing I have my heat press sitting on. And so I'm always trying to figure out a way to make this room easier for me to work with them because I only have 100 square feet in here. And I actually am working from home too. So if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that whole setup over there is for my day job. So it's taking up a lot of space for me as well. You have Miss Olivia saying she has the Cricut too, the maker, the joy, and the cameo just sitting in the box. I'm about to call CPS. That's Cricut Protection Services, honey. We can't have all them crickets just sitting in the box. Now that cameo, you can leave that thing where it sits at. Um, but them crickets, they got to come out the box. I have to call Cricket Protective Service on you. you we got to teach you and get you into using those, Miss Olivia, because you can have, you can make those make their money. You make your money back on those items. And again, you guys, that item is going to be on um, HSN if you guys want to go over and check it out. Now, let me see how many shares we have before we get started on tonight's project. Again, tonight's project, if you are just catching us, um, is mock-ups we're going to learn how to make mock-ups tonight mock-ups will save you a lot of money all right so we're up to um 22 shares remember we got to get to 50 shares oh girl, i'm doing cameo like that you see that you see that little gray thing up there that i'm pointing towards mm -hmm, that's my cameo her name is queen and she always got a cover on her honey because first of all she loud Second of all, she don't be cutting right. <laughs> oh, the crickets are being used, not the cameo. You can keep the cameo in the box. You don't even need that. You don't even need the cameo. I love Cameo's program, Silhouette Studio. I use it all the time. I cheat on Cricket all the time with Silhouette Studio. However, I will never leave my Cricket. I don't care. I don't care what it does to me. I'm going to be a Cricket girl for life. That cameo is just too loud. I'm telling y'all, the first time I ever used it, I thought I broke it. It sounded like a tractor trailer. Um, it's got to do the dot, 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 dot. Then it's rah, rah, rah. cricket. Ain't got time for all that. If you got a child in the house that you want to stay asleep, do not turn on nobody's cameo because they waking up. Okay, I need cameo to figure out how to make it quieter. Cricket has even my maker. My maker, I feel like, is even quieter um, than my air too. And when I got the maker, I was like. They did something that was better. Miss Retisha, I know you're going to say, Miss Retisha, I know you're going to say that the cameo is bomb because you are a cameo user and I love you to death. You make some of the most beautiful creations with your cameo. Me and cameo just don't mix. We don't mix. I create in Silhouette Studio, save it, and I'll bring it over into design space. Anything I need to cut, I have my crickets cut it for me. Okay, Miss um, Miss Rivers went on to um, HSN website for the origami, and she said it's it's now one sixty four with five payments of thirty two ninety nine a month. Yeah, girl, Miss Watts, Miss Waits, I thought mine was broke the first time too. How you doing, Miss Bear? How are you? You know I'm telling the truth, Miss Alexander. You know I'm not lying, girl. You, Miss Clark. See, Miss Clark, I know you team cameo. I know you team cameo, but we're going to have to sit you down. I know. I, she, she, <laughs> she said, you sound just like my cameo. Yep. <laughs> you welcome, Miss Patricia. I have two cameos. Let me see. I have two cameos sitting to collect dust. I use the software and my Cricut. I have the maker, Air to and Enjoy. I love both of them for different reasons. Exactly. I do the same thing. The, the, the maker is extremely, extremely silent. 
Oh, here come Miss Lurch. I ain't seen you in forever. And here you come in here singing cameo. <laughs> Miss Crawford is team cameo too. Now y'all know, like I said, I love cameo software. I use it for almost everything from logo creation. Um, I use it for mock-ups as well, like what we're going to do tonight. Um, but I just cannot get with this cutting ability. If you have a cameo and you have a cricket, and you compare the precision of cuts every time cricket is going to be more precise every time cricket is just a better cutter i'm gonna need y'all to admit that yes miss tanya the maker is very fast cricket could never cricket could never make the noise that cameo make miss <laughs> miss shakia I have hardly ever had a cut work on my cameo as well, Miss Moreland. Hardly ever. Let me see. Oh, I'll be, I be using y'all software. I don't be trying. I use y'all software. I even went and bought it. <laughs> Team Gucci, but I, but I love the cameo. You can love it. That's okay. I love cameo software. I love it. Miss Collette said, I love my cameo, but use my uh, my graphic to cut. Yeah, I love cameo software. Let me see. I agree with that. The cuts are better, but I am team cameo. See, as long as y'all are willing to admit that the machine itself is inferior to Cricut, I will admit, um, look, all caps really, Miss Shakia, sounds like user error to me. I don't think so. Let me see. I bought it to business. Yes, business edition is life, Miss Moreland. That's what I use all the time. Ain't no admit. Yeah, your cricket is a lot quieter. That cameo is World War II, honey. I'll tell you that. Miss Clark said, <laughs> Miss Clark said, get some earbuds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Miss, Miss Cameo is best. No, 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 no. And yes, Miss Jordan Shakia, she going hard. You see, she had all caps, all caps. Sound like user error to me. No, I'm gonna say I love it. So I want y'all to drop. Let's do it. Let's do a survey. Team Cricket or Team Cameo? Let me see. Hashtag it. Team Cricket or Team Cameo? I want to see how many Cameo users we have in here versus how many Cricket users we have. Team Cricket versus Team Cameo. All in fun. All in love. See, I don't have the scan and cut. Um, somebody keeps asking me to do some things with scan and cut, but I would have to get it because I don't have the scan and cut. I want to see those Team Cricket, Team Cameo. Yeah, Tanya, that cameo should scare you because you probably think it's coming from Jurassic Park. Because that's what it sounds like. It's got the dinosaurs. We're up to 30 shares almost, you guys. We're at 29 shares. And I want to go in. I'm going to help you all a little bit because I want to do a little bit of sharing as well before we get started. Let me see. Team Cricket, Team Cameo. Let's see. Okay. Cameo, Cameo, Cricket. Cameo, Cameo, Cricket, Cricket, Cameo, Cricket. Okay, cameo, y'all cameo. Miss Emmy, nobody told you to type it three times. Look at she cameo, cameo, cameo. Team Cricket. That's right, Mr. Tim. Team Cricket. Miss Stacy, Team Cricket. Cameo acting a fool. I know it always do. <laughs> Miss Olivia, Team Cricket. Miss Shana says she has a cameo, but a newbie. Now, the software, my love, is great. Look at this. Love Cricket cameo still in the box. That's Mother's Day. Girl, just leave it in the box. You don't need to take it out. Now, I Miss Tamika. You got to pick a side. Team Cricket or Team Cameo? I'm Team Cricket. Team Cricket. <laughs> Miss Clay, I got all the jokes tonight. <laughs> I see a lot of cricket. 
I see a lot of cricket popping off, you guys. All right, let me pop some shares on here for you guys so we can try to reach our share goal so that I can release that coupon code for you guys for the um 75% off all of Gucci Craft classes that are currently on the website right now. So I'm going to try to go and drop it like it's hot for y'all on some of these shares real quick, real fast. Hold the page. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, we'll try to post it in there. Um, and if you share to, if you're sharing publicly or you share even to a group that's public, you should see a share badge pop up for you um, on uh, Facebook. With YouTube, I'm not sure if you get shares badges. And also to let you guys know that it is there um, on Facebook. You are able to give me stars if you like this live. Um, you are able, let me see, don't embarrass Cricket like that, Team Cat. What you mean don't embarrass? Cricket, <laughs> Cricket can't be embarrassed because we is who we is. Um, but like I was saying, on Facebook, you are able to give me stars if you are enjoying this live and you would like to donate stars to me. On YouTube, you are able to donate stickers if you're enjoying the live and you would like to donate stickers to me. As always, it is never required for you to do that, but I would just like for you guys to know that that option is there for you, okay? So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through, and I'm trying to drop our live so we can get those shares up, you guys. I have, like, two more things, up, two more places I want to share it to, and then we will start with our mock-up. We will start with learning how to do our mock-ups. Um, let me search. Um... I don't know why it never wants to let me post or share to this particular to this particular group. I can never find it. All right. So we got our share. Let me see. Let me look at the comments. Um, the only thing we can design page has over a silhouette. Let me see. The only thing that Cricut Design Space has over Silhouette Studio is how layers um, are shown. Actually, and really, it's not even that because you can go into Silhouette Studio and actually make your layers shown. You just have to, to press the settings um, to get them to show for you. Yeah, Miss Sandra, you could have just got the software. Ms. Woods talking about send it to Cassetta. Send it to the dump. That's where it needs to be. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing Cameo users. Don't come and get me. All right. All right, you guys. So tonight again, we are going to learn how to do mock-ups. So we are going to be using Canva first um, to do our mock-ups. First, we're just going to go in and make a very simple t-shirt mock-up. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, Ms. Shakia, I know you didn't say my cricket was a paperweight. I see, see now, see, see, see now. She trying to fight. <laughs> she trying to fight. You have admitted yourself, Miss Shakia, that the cricket cuts better than your cameo, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me share my, let me share my dang on it, dark on it screen. Okay. So first, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna say share my screen. We're gonna share the entire screen. Make sure that I share the audio. We're gonna share. All right, let me make sure that I pop in on the live over here so I'm able to see what you guys are actually seeing. All right, so we are in um, Canva right now. And within, yeah, okay, there we go, it pulled up. So within Canva, there are several th different things that we can do. Now, Canva is a free website. I, however, do pay um, for the pro version of it only so that um for my team we can share different things within canva and create things like i can work on something and it's saved in canva and my team member can come back in there and um they can work on it as well and and we can just go back and forth with it okay so that is why i have the pay version however you do not need um the pay version i am not sure miss jennifer if you can use um a chromebook with it thank you so much miss morland for your stars 
I'm not sure if you can use the Chromebook with Silhouette. Miss Shakia may be able to answer that question for us because she is my Silhouette mentor. Um, I am Cricket, 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 but Miss Shakia knows a lot more about Silhouette than I do. So, um, Miss Shakia, if you are still on with us, are you able to use Silhouette software with a Chromebook? Is a question that I have for you, my love. Miss Tanya, you got to use your Canva Pro if you're paying for it. I love Canva. You can use Canva again without it being pro. You can just use the free version of it. Pro just offers you, offers you a couple of more pictures. So the thing I love about it is you can come in here and you can select custom dimensions. So you can make a custom design if you want. What we're going to just be using for um, this mock-up is I'm just going to select Facebook post. Okay, and it's just going to give me this square. Um, that way I can I kind of know that it's not going to be too big of a picture. And you see right from here, I can just publish directly to Facebook. Um, if I wanted to. So after you get through making your advertising, your mock-up or whatever it is, if you choose Facebook posts, you can publish directly to Facebook if you would like. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do like a t-shirt mock-up. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to find a really cute background um, for the t-shirt mock-up. And then I have some images in here that I'm going to be putting on top of the t-shirt. So over here, if I go to uploads, already have a t-shirt here that i uploaded and how i found that t-shirt is i just went over to google and i typed in um t-shirt png okay we want to get a png because png does not have a background and we can go over to images and we can select any of the t-shirts we like that we see that may have that are a png also with canva canva does have a program where you can remove the background so say if we wanted this black one i'm going to right click on it i'm going to say save as all right we're going to say black shirt i'm going to save it so i'm going to go ahead and go back over here into my canva i'm going to go upload media from the device There is my black shirt, but see this one actually came over with the little thing, but we can open it and we can actually remove the background from that black shirt if we want, okay? Now, so we're gonna be doing this on the white shirt. I'm going to be using um, probably one of my logos or maybe some of this is like client work. Um, I think on the flyer I used, um, we may just go with what we did, what I did on the flyer um i had some paw patrol saved in here that i think that that's what i used on the flyer itself was paw patrol pictures so let's see if i think this was the yeah here we go so we have some paw patrol items that i can use to go ahead and make this mock-up of the shirt now again why do mock-ups help you mock-ups are going to help you save a lot of money on materials and also aid with customer satisfaction because if you can show your customer this mock-up before you just go out and make their product then they can tell you what they like about it what they may not like about it you know what they want you to change or they can say oh yes that's perfect and then guess what you can also use that same mock-up to post on your instagram or to post on your facebook um, you know, as advertising to say, hey, you know, I just made this shirt or, you know, custom Paw Patrol shirt, get yours now, whatever the case may be. OK, so what I want is I want to just change this white background. I want to give myself another background. Now, Canva has a bunch of photos um, that you can use that are free. And if you have pro, they have even more that you can use. And so we can either go with, you know, something colorful. Christmas is coming up or Thanksgiving. So we can type in like, I don't know, it's not going to be a safe. Or we can type in like birthday party um, because we're going to be doing a Paw Patrol shirt. Look, it's a birth control. Ah! All right, Canva, don't be playing now. So this is one picture that's under pro. This picture is under pro. So let me see if I can find any. I think I might have my filter set to pro. Let's see free and apply filters all right so all of these here that we see are free so we're going to pick one here and i'm just looking for a cutesy one all right so we can really showcase our shirt in let's do this one because we have this big white area here or we can even do this one it has a little area on the side but we can do this one 
And we're just going to stretch this out. All right, so I'm covering that whole surface. Now I'm going to go over to my uploads. And I'm going to bring over my shirt. So there's my shirt and I like this shirt because it has a drop shadow behind it. So it really makes the white part pop out there. So what I can do because this is going to be a mock-up is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my logo at the bottom. You can also use this to, um, this is my business logo here. You can also use Canva as a watermark um, program as well. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put my logo down here in the bottom so people know that I'm is the one that made it. And then we're going to add our items to our shirt. And this one is going to be very, very simple. But if you do the mock-up correctly, you're not even going to be able to tell. Oh, that's not what we want. We don't want that picture. Oh, oh no, no, no. I deleted my shirt. We want to delete this one. All right. So we're going to go over and we're going to get Sky. Because we have sort of a girly background and this V-neck is kind of like a girl shirt. I'm going to bring in this one. And what I'm going to do is go to position and I'm going to hit to the back or actually backwards. Because I want it to be behind Sky. Come down just a little bit. You want to try to make your mock up, you know, as close to what the actual original will look like. And again, remember, I said you want to make sure that um, you let your client know that this is a digital mock up and that you're going to try to get as close to it as you can. Let me move her down a little bit because she's all up in my way. Spread this out just a little bit more. Bring it in. All right, I kind of just want that to be behind her. And then I have these bones here. Now, the beauty, the beauty of Canva is you see this little line here? I can take this and just get rid of that other bone. I don't want the other bone there. I don't need it. I just want this pink bone. And now I'm going to take it and size it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit my text. Let me check y'all for comments real quick. While I'm sharing my screen, I can't see the comments. So I will come in if you have questions. I'll be looking in just a second. And I'm just going to pick any text right now because I can always change it. And we're going to put Cameron. Now that I have my text highlighted, I can go over here and I can select um, the text. I can see, you know, what it's going to look like. Some of the text are pro text. Some of them are not. And let's see. Oh, no. I want to find a cute little text. So I'm going to just use that for now for time to save some time. And actually, I think I do want to make the name a little thicker. I want some thickerness here. All right, and then we're going to move this over. And the cool thing I like about Canva is now they have this thing called effects. So I can go in and I can make the name glitch. I can, and if you're doing sublimation, you can actually print out your sublimation um, 
from Canva because you can pick your your custom dimensions for the size that you want. And um, so you can do it in here. Look, we can even curve the name if I wanted to curve it. And please remember, do not, I repeat, do not mock up something that you cannot make. So if you cannot make this, do not mock it up, okay? So we can add a lift, which is going to give us like a little backdrop there to the name if we want. Um, we can make it glow with neon colors if we want. We can do an echo if we want. We can go in and say, you know, I want pink to be behind. Um, the echo, let's go back to effects. I want to give me back my curve. It's not letting me keep my curve and my glow. It's only letting me do one effect at a time. I could have sworn I let you do more than one, but whatever. So we're going to do that. We'll just change it to pink. And it also will give you photo color. So these are the colors that is picked up in the photo, right? So these are probably the pinks that are either in my logo or on the actual shirt there. Um, or, and we can do see all, and it'll show us all of the colors that is picked up within our picture under photo colors and again this program is canva we're using canva all right and then if we wanted to add um an age and i actually want to bring the bone down some more so i can actually see the puppy's paws No, Puppy, not you. I want to make this one a little bigger. All right. So, oh, this is not centered. Come here. This little guy is giving me some issues. Center back. Thank you. All right. Now, as far as watermarking the image, and then we can also add, you know, mock up or Paw Patrol, whatever, if you want to type that in for, um, your text. Uh, let me see. Uh, Paw Patrol um, mock up. And then if we want to watermark this, we can go back to our uploads. We can grab our logo. We bring in that logo. And we can make it transparent. And I like to make my transparency so that you can still see. And we can hit the duplicate button over here to duplicate. I want you to still be able to see the design. I hate when I see like mock-ups and like the watermark is so thick. Like you're still, you, you can't even make out what the heck the design is. The point of doing your watermark is so that nobody is able to trace your design. That is a That is really the point. Um, of having the watermark. So you can do the watermark like that, or you can take just your logo and just go all the way over it like that. Um, I kind of just made it so that 
a piece of my logo is touching every little part of it that makes it a little bit harder for the person to trace if they're trying to trace your design but that's really the point of the watermark because i have my logo down here okay and so now i have my options i can go here i can download as a png um or i can do it as a, a jpeg i can do it as a pdf i can do it as a pdf print um you can do as a sharp vector graphics you can do svgs and things like that um, when you have pro but i can just download this as a png and i'll be completely happy with that um and look you can even schedule this design to your social media platform so you can even schedule this to post to your facebook if you would like so i'm gonna go download I appreciate you guys. Keep up with the shares, with the shares, with the shares. So it's still trying to get me to download. That's a new service that Canva has come up with. We're going to get rid of that. And so what I want to do is I'm going to go over to my Silhouette Studio. And we're going to merge in the design that we just made. And there is our Paw Patrol mock-up. Very simple, very easy. We did not have to waste our materials going in and creating this shirt if the customer didn't like it. Canva is monthly, but you can use it for free. You don't have to pay for the pro. You can use the free version of it. The free version of Canva gives you so much. Again, the only reason that I have Pro is for my team so that we are able to go in and um, we can change each other's designs or help out with designs. Um, and, you know, we build, um, go in and we can add different fonts into Canva, which I think you may be able to do with the free version as well. I'm not sure I'm able to do it um, because I have the Pro version, I know, but I'm not sure if you can add in fonts with, with the free version. But canva has a bunch of free fonts as well so this is a very good free resource to use for your business for making mock-ups um for even making designs because you can go into canva you can make chip bags in canva you can make um i make all the certificates for my classes in canva um my advertisements i make the friday night live um uh uh, advertising that I put out for today was made in Canva. I made that in Canva. It's inside of my design. So there's tons of things that you can make in Canva. I love them for mock-ups. It makes it very simple, very easy. And again, they have a bunch of free stuff that you're able to use. Okay. So that was our t-shirt mock-up. Yes, that's going to be one of the things that, um, hey, Miss, Di hey, Miss Allen. Yeah, it's going to be one of the things that I'm going to show you guys how I do um, my mask mock-ups as well. I, I use my mask mock-ups. I do those in um, Silhouette. And I'm going to show you basically how I did it within Silhouette um, to get the mask mock-up. I'm going to see if I don't have to dig for the picture I took, if I can just find another picture online to show you guys how to do it off of. Okay. Um, but the next one I wanted to show you guys is um, a coffee mug right because um coffee mugs are good christmas is coming the winter is coming um you know it's gonna be um you, you can make a lot of sales with coffee mugs wine glasses and things like that so the same way i'm gonna do the coffee mug you can do the same thing uh, with the coffee mug or a wine glass so on and so forth okay so we're gonna go ahead and let's go back home See, here's our little tutorial thing for our tutorial, our um, flyer for tonight. Um, I'll just pick Instagram post, whatever doesn't matter. All right, so I'm coming in here, and of course, Canva has a bunch of templates and things like that um, that you can all that you can use and just go ahead and like plug and play. They are really good for plug and play. I see that there are some companies that will sell you like Canva templates, but um, if you buy them, you're just being lazy because you can go into Canva and you can make these your own all by yourself. It's very, very simple. Again, it's plug and play. You can go in, like even if you pick this Cyber Monday one, you could just go in and add your items to it and, and be done with it, okay? 
So what I want to do is I want to do a coffee mug. So what we're going to do is go get us a coffee mug, which I've already um, uploaded to my computer from Google. I just typed in coffee mug PNG. That's it. I don't know if I've ever tried to upload an SVG. Let's try that, Mr. Tim, and see if it works. I don't know if I've ever tried to bring an SVG into Canva. Let's see if it works. Um, let's see. This is an SVG here that I just did for a client. Let's see if it opens. And I'm going to go with no. <laughs> it won't open it. But you can do videos and audio. No SVG, so PNGs, JPEGs, I'm thinking, and um, GIFs, because a GIF is, is a video. Thank you so much, Miss Allen, for your stars. I appreciate the stars, you guys. I love it. All right, so for this Christmas mug, we're going to kind of, like, make ourselves, like, um, a Christmas mug. This coffee mug, we're going to make it like a Chris Christmas design around it, right? And so that could be very simple and very easy to do. Um, let me see. Uh, so we can go Christmas. They already got Christmas set up for us. Um, so we can bring in this. This is under pro. Let's go under free because I want you guys to be able um, to do the same thing over again if you would like. And Let's see where we will put our curry, our um, our little mug, our little muggy. This looks pretty cozy. All right, so we have our little snowman there, and then we're gonna go over to our uploads. We're gonna bring in our coffee mug. And what we're actually going to do, I want to flip this, actually. There it is. So I'm going to flip my coffee mug to the other side. All right. Now I have the ability to go in and, like I said, don't mock up nothing that you can't redo. So I have the ability to go in and put whatever it is I want um, onto this coffee mug as a mock-up. I can put, you know, words. I can put sayings, pictures, whatever it is. Um, again, just make sure that you are able to recreate it on your own, okay? Um, so let's see. Let's do something fun. And you can achieve this either with sublimation or water slide if you wanted to really make this. Uh, and let's say. Hmm, let's use this one. Or this one, maybe. And these are together. We're going to ungroup those so I can maneuver them better. Let's bring that back up. And I don't like that yellow. We're going to give ourselves a blue.
And I'm just going to duplicate this so I can get the and out of it. Not seven. I want the and symbol, please. Sasha Ferris, which is the name of my computer, um, has been tripping out a lot lately on me when it comes to numbers and symbols. And I'm not sure why. I'm hitting shift. It won't give me the end. There we go. And we can change this to another color, whatever. Then we have our mock-up for our coffee mug. And again, we could put whatever it is that we want on there. I'm just being a little fun and funky with it. Um, and then we can go ahead and put in, you know, um, coffee, if I spell coffee right, y'all. Coffee, mug, um, mock-up. Let me get back to y'all comments. Hold on. Facebook then kicked me out, y'all. I can't see the comments. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Canva. Yes, Canva is what I am using. Yes, Miss McNeil, you are late. Can somebody tell me how many shares we have, please? How many shares do we have, darlings? All right, and that's our coffee mug mock-up. Now, um, you can add whatever you want to your background. You can come in and bring in some Christmas bulbs or something if you want to. Um, Canva has a bunch, a bunch. Like, if we go to Elements, and I'm going to type in, um, let's see, Christmas. We got snowflakes. We got Santa hats. You know, whatever you want to, to add in there. Um, if I wanted to, let's see. This is pro, but you'd be surprised. Like, just the little bitty elements that add to it. And we're going to put this position backwards so that the letters um, come out on top of it. Right? And that dresses it up a little bit. Then we can go back down to our uploads, find our logo. I can put my logo down here. Right, and if I didn't add mock-up up there, I could just leave the mock-up off and I could post this on my website as an item that I make, right? Just with this simple mock-up. All right, we're at 55 shares. Our goal is 50, so I got to really start coupon code, guys. All right, so let me stop my share real fast, real quick, real fast. And come on back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that coupon code. So this coupon code is for all of the classes on www.itcrafts.com that are taught by Gucci Crafts. You'll find those classes on there. And the coupon code to make those classes 75% off. I mean, you're paying like pennies on the dollar for those classes. 75% off. And we're going to the room. We're going to add it. Um, let me see. Uh, www. I'm creating a banner for y'all right now. Dot com. Class seventy five is the coupon code. It is going across the bottom of the screen for you guys right now. Class seventy five. That is our coupon code. You can go to www.itcrafts.com. Look under Gucci Crafts. 
um, under when you go under shop or if you go to instructors, you want to click on Gucci Crafts. My classes only are going to be 75% off on the I Teach Craft website because we reached our goal, y'all. Yes, we did. All right, let me check comments. All right, there we go. Okay, so before we learn how um to do because we just learned how to do our mock-up in canva and wait you know what i was going to play the game but i want to show you guys the free resource for mock-ups first okay so before we play the game i'm going to show you guys the free resource for mock-ups and then we're going to play our game our give me five game and then i'm going to teach you guys how to do mock-ups for the face mask um that i sell on the site for the sublimation face mask that i sell on the site okay so here on this lovely website, designbundles.net. Designbundles.net. If you click on free designs, you want to go down to templates. And they have these wonderful free mock-ups for things. So here's one for Christmas ornament. And we have this Christmas ornament on the site right now for $2, you guys. So Christmas ornaments, you have a mock-up. Um, this is the Bella Canvas 300 maroon shirt. Um, they have mock-ups for birthday hats, you know, whatever. Here are some for coffee mugs. Here's one for a t-shirt. And this is if you don't want to create your own mock-up, you can go and get these mock-ups from the website for the free free, y'all. This one is a P a P um a, a PSD file, which is a Photoshop file, but you don't necessarily have to have Photoshop in order to use these files because Photo P is a free program um, that you can use. Uh, with Photoshop files in order to make them into your own without actually having Photoshop. It's a free online site. So you see all these really cute. This is a cute mock-up. You got this one here that's really, really cute uh, with the coffee mug. You got this one. And look, there's pages, pages of free mock-ups for you. I love it. And, and it's all free. This is a really, really cute one. I like that one with the little honeycomb. This one more so for Easter. This one um, is a, a Photoshop file that you can do the mock-up with to add it over. You can use that as a, do a smart object if you're familiar with, with Photoshop. This one is free mock-ups uh, where you can just add, you know, him holding one of your signs or something like that. Tons of free stuff on this site. And uh, mock-ups for animated Instagram, you know, like with the phone. And this site is designbundles.net. Oh, you guys can't see the screen? Dang it. Oh, I forgot I stopped my share. My bad, y'all. All right, let me share my screen again. I'll be forgetting. See, with Zoom, when I just go, I'm not using Zoom. I'm using, I'm using StreamYard. So let's go back and let me show y'all. <laughs> uh designbundles.net. This is the site that I was explaining to y'all that y'all couldn't see. Thank you, Miss Charmaine, for telling me because nobody else was going to tell me they couldn't see the screen. Um, so let me show y'all the first page I was looking at that I was explaining to y'all, um, where you have your ornament mock-up. Um, this one is for, you know, a sticker mock-up. Um, coffee mug mock-ups. And like I was saying, you don't need Photoshop, even though this is a Photoshop file, photop.com will allow you to edit this Photoshop file. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that tonight as well. I love this one. This one is really cute. And I was just saying that there's just, there's pages of free mockups here for you guys. And it's completely free and it's free for commercial use. That's the most important thing, free for commercial use. Okay, they have just tons of mock-up. You can put your little artwork there, put your little artwork there. And these pictures are nice and clean um, and professional, and I love to use them. This one is a free bundle. You get 296 free templates. 
for cards and you know like whatever the heck else it's 256 you got letterhead you got folders notebook facebook event covers tumblr uh banners sd covers a bunch of stuff here that is completely for the free 99 i love it i love anything that's free and this again is free for commercial use also, you can go on designbundles.net and you can look at other bundles that they have that are not free, that are um, inexpensive for you to buy. But um, designbundles.net and fontbundles.net is like the SD of the designer world, um, where they, these are small designers that are creating these things for people to buy. These are not large companies um, that are making huge amounts of money off of, you know, selling mock-ups or designs and things like this. Like, look at this one. For $2, you get the family shirt mock-up. That's not bad. Um, and it helps you support another business. I like this printable Santa kit. So I come on often. I do not just go um, for the free stuff. Look at this. The certificate of elf um, adoption. That is just so cute. Um, I like I said, I don't just go for the free stuff. I do come on and I do support these designers because they're small business owners just like we are. And some of the work is super dope, you guys. Look at this one. This is a very popular item. Um, every year is super popular. And this is a mock-up that you can get for it. Um, that's only two dollars. And that's I mean, that's really pretty. She's got drop shadows in there, vinaigrettes. So it's really pretty for two bucks. The you tell which classes are 75% off. Um, yes, I use Creative Fabrica as well, but I love design bundles and um find bundles I'm just I use them all the time. And on the new website, there's actually gonna be a page dedicated to them for free resources. You can um figure out which classes are gonna be 75% off for you by let me show you. Let me just show you real let me show you real quick, real fast. Let's not use that one, let's use this one. To go to the website so you can see which classes are 75% off. So we're here at our website. We're going to go to instructors. We're going to click on Gucci Crafts. And you're going to go Gucci Craft Classes. Click here to learn with Gucci. You click on that and it will pull up all of the classes that Gucci teaches. Another way um, to get there. Also, my one on one sessions are on sale for twenty five dollars to you guys. They've been on sale like that for the whole entire pandemic. They're usually forty five dollars an hour, but I have left them at twenty five dollars an hour for you guys um, because I know there's a lot of people that were trying to learn new, new ways um, to make money. Um, you can also go to shop. If you don't want to go the instructor way and under once you are in shop under categories, you can select group classes with Gucci Crafts. And those are the classes that are going to be 50, a uh, 75% off. <clears throat> the link for the free bundle, you're just going to go to um, design bundles. Dot net. Let's go to free designs. Let me see if I can drop the link in the comments real fast. Hold on. Are you talking about that bundle that was like 296 things or whatever? I think this is the one you're talking about. I'm going to grab it. Uh, let me stop my share so that the screen doesn't look super funny when I come back over. And I'm going to go ahead and post that link in the comments. And it's posted in the comments on YouTube and on Facebook, you guys. I'm going to go back to sharing my, well, nope, because we're going to play our game real fast. All right, so with our game, this game is called Give Me Five. You have to give me five numbers between the numbers of 35 to 75. Excuse me, 35 to 70. Um, let me see. Uh, we're going to do this one.
Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Um, Write down the rules. Five numbers between 35 to 70. If I could spell between, right? All right, so five numbers between 35 to 70. And this is our Give Me Five game. The first person to get the first three numbers will win a prize. And once we get to a certain amount of shares, I will go ahead. Um, and add the other three numbers, the other two numbers that you guys will have to guess. I don't want you to start guessing as of yet. Let me get my assistant the number so that she can monitor youtube while i am monitoring facebook to make sure that we have both of you guys covered so that i see all of the numbers all right so let me see i wrote these numbers down last week honey i have them and let me see i'm sending her my numbers right now So five numbers between the numbers of 35 and 70. I want you guys to start guessing now. So I'm taking guesses as of 853. So if your comment says 853, then you are in the money. So LaShawn Spring. Nope. Miss Sonia, nope. No, Miss Reglins to try again. And it's between 35 and 70. Miss Stacy Brown, you have one number, my love. Miss McNeil, no numbers. Between 35 and 70. Five numbers between 35 and 70. Let me see. I want to make sure I don't miss nobody. Okay, I left off right here. No numbers. You got one number, Miss Clark. Miss Wood. Mm, you got one number. Miss Stacy, you had two numbers. No, Miss Morris. Miss Shakia, you have. No numbers. <laughs> Sorry, boo. Between 35 and 70. Five numbers between 35 and 70. It's going across the bottom of the screen, y'all, so y'all can keep up. No, Miss Allen. Miss McNeil. You have two numbers. Hold on, wait. Let me double check this. Yep, Miss McNeil, you have two numbers. No, Miss Miss Shonda. No, Miss Miss Williams, that was a good guess though. No. No, Miss Charmaine. Miss Wade. Nope, but you was real close. Nope, let's see. Miss DJ, you have one, two. You have two numbers, but you still would be disqualified because that's a seven and a nine, and it's supposed to be numbers between 
35 and 70. Come on, y'all. Keep them as keep the guesses coming. Keep them coming. No, Miss Waits. Miss Moreland. Let's see what you got popping. Uh -uh. You have one number, Miss Williamson. Let me see. Let me let me see here. Let me see here. No. No, Miss Burroughs. You have nope. I was gonna say no, you do. You have one number. Miss Shakia. You have one number. You have you have one number, Miss Williams. Miss Charmaine. You have one number. No, Miss Raglan. You have one number, Miss Lurch. Miss Kitchen, let me see. Let me see if I can scroll back up. I have to remember that I stopped at Miss Kitchen. I don't see your your guest, Miss Kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. Miss Tracy Maria. Hold the page, Miss Tracy Maria. You had two numbers there. I thought you might have had three, but you didn't. Miss Kitchen didn't threw me off. Now I got to go back through here, y'all. Let me see. Miss Shakia, nope. Miss Sonia, you have one number. Miss Raylan, nope. Let me see. Nope. Nope. No such luck. Let me see. Miss Gabby, you can't play this week. We talked about it. <laughs> Miss Williams, you have two numbers. Um, Miss Charmaine, there's no numbers and you be disqualified. 35 to 70. You got too many. You got you too far. 35 to 70. No, Miss Wade. I'm putting y'all comments up there. I'm just trying to go one by one so I don't miss anybody. And this is including YouTube as well. But I have my assistant monitoring YouTube also. Oh, you have one number, my love, Miss McNeil. Hold on. Hold the page. Ah, oh, Miss Shonda, you have two numbers. You only got two. Ooh, you almost had it. You got to get three to win the first prize. Miss Ace, no. Let me see. Miss Waits, no. You got one number, Tanya. Here we go. I think I was around here. Kind of doing a go back on this. No. No. Oh, y'all see Miss Gabby. Maybe, maybe we should have let Miss Gabby play. She got it fast last week, y'all. Make sure that you guys are sharing. Share, share, share. No. Miss McNeil had two. Miss DJ had two. Miss Shakia, you got one number in that one. I may be a little behind because I went back up to check for Miss Kitchen, you guys. I'm a lot behind. <laughs> but I'm going. I'm making sure. You got one number in there, uh, Miss Allen. No. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Miss Sonia has three numbers. 
Miss Sonia has three numbers. Miss Sonia, you have three numbers. You're the first person I see with the three numbers. So we're going to stop the guessing for right now, you guys. We are going to pause the guessing. We are pausing the guessing right now. Miss Sonia has three numbers. Miss Sonia has gotten her three, the three numbers at 8.57 p.m. is what her comment time tells me. And so right now we are stopping the guessing. So we're stopping the guessing because at 8.57, she got the three numbers. So anything after 8.57, we are stopping. Miss Sonia got the three numbers. Now, remember, it's give me five. So even though she got the three numbers, Somebody else still has a chance to win because you still have to guess the other two numbers, okay? So even if it, uh, some people will be like, well, I guessed that at this time or that time, but at this point, after 857, no more guesses for the three numbers, okay? So Ms. Sonia has gotten those three numbers. Somebody tell me what our shares are looking like. What are our shares looking like? Congrats, congrats, Miss Sonia. We have 57 shares. Okay, let's get us to 65 shares. That's less than 10 more shares. To release Miss Sonia's two numbers, and Miss Sonia is going to get a set of double sided sublimation ornaments 2.75 by 2.75. Are these ornaments? They're on a flash sale right now on the I Teach Crafts website for two dollars. These are like three, three fifty anywhere else. Again, if you're unable to get any of the flashes that are happening up until Black Friday everything every sale price will be the same on black friday okay so miss sonia we got 57 shares we need to get to 65 shares to release your prize to you and then to let everybody know what your three numbers were okay so we can do that we can do that really quickly you guys i'm gonna even go on and try to help y'all out a little bit with a two little fiddle diddle diddle with a, with a share or two here or there. Let's see. And then once we release her prize, then we're going to get into um, the mock-ups with masks, like how I make my mask mock-ups. Those are very, very helpful. Um, now, let me see. How I get back there, Lord? Lord Jesus. Okay, let's see. Um, where is it again if you have not already please make sure you are following gucci crafts on facebook make sure you are following gucci crafts on youtube and let me see let me get back in here to the shares y'all if it'll show me let's see You're welcome, Miss Sonia. Let's see if we can get you popping, girl. Let me try to go share. Let me let me share a little something, something, something. So we can try to get up to those 65 shares so we can release Miss Sonia's prize, babies. Which opens up the door for more people to win because somebody else is still able to win. We have one more prize that we're able to give out. Let me write down my Miss Sonia as the winner. Let me see some hearts, you guys. If you are ready to keep playing, let me see some hearts. Drop some hearts. And let me see. I'm helping y'all out here because I think I just did three shares for y'all. Um, let me 
share one more place. Because y'all know I love to give y'all these prizes. Ooh, not that group, Lord. Well, let's share here. All right, so we've shared. Okay, so we're at 60 shares. We need five more shares. We just need five more shares to make sure that we get Miss Sonia her prize and we can get back to the game guys just five more shares and what i'm gonna do um while we're waiting on those shares let me see you guys won't be able to see my screen i'm gonna go in and see if i can locate the picture um that i used to create um my maca for the sublimation mask that will save you so much time so much time And I do that um, in silhouette. Let me see, is this it? And you are able to do it in Canva also. There we go. And if you guys like, I might even make this a free like little download thing on, um, I'll come back on the website because it is really, really helpful. Now I lost it. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? That's not it. Hold on. I want to show you guys how I did it straight from scratch. Okay, there it is. I found it. That should be the one. All right, let's see. All right, where are we with the shares? I got what we need. I got what we need to make these mass mock-ups. Um, and they're super easy and super fun. I love making masks. Okay, we got our shares. So we are at 68 shares, actually. All right, so let's drop down what Miss um, Miss Sonia's numbers were. And let's go in and we gonna add it. So her numbers were 37. 42 and 65 37 42 and 65 so that is what your answers should start with so you have two more numbers to guess on top of that remember that the numbers have to be between the numbers of 70 and 30 uh, excuse me of uh, 35 and 70. you have to guess between the numbers of 35 and 70. you only have to guess two more numbers so your numbers all of your numbers need to start with three all your guesses excuse me need to start with 37 42 65. So I need to start with 37, 42, 65. That is going to help me go through and see who has the other two numbers. It's only two more numbers that need to be guessed, okay? No, my love. Put them in. Um, do your answer 37, 42, 65, and then put the extra two numbers at the end. That's going to make it so much easier for me, guys, because I have to go through everybody's. No. No. No, you almost had it. You were very close, Miss Charmaine. Thank you, Miss Angeline, for following directions. Thank you, Miss Tanya, but you're not right, boo. 
The guessing numbers are between the numbers of 35 and 70. You have two more numbers that you need to guess. Look at you, Miss Stacy. You have one number, but you don't have your other guesses up there, boo. You already got the first three numbers, 37, 42, 65, and you need two numbers behind that. No, Miss Wood. No, Miss Ace. How you gonna get guess the same number twice? No, Miss Wood, you were very close though. Oh, Tanya, you were super close. Miss Kitchen, I see your comment now, boo, but you don't have it right. No, Miss Cindy. No, Miss Ace. I'm only going to be able to look at the last two numbers of y'all um, sections, you guys. No, Miss Waits. No, Miss Moreland. Very close, though. Very, very close. No. No, Miss Angeline. You got close with one of those numbers. Almost pointed to the number you was close with, girl. Like you could see me. No. No. No, Miss Wood. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. No, Miss Charmaine. No, Miss Brown. No, Miss Wood. Miss McNeil, you're very close. DJ. Almost, boo. No, Miss Moreland. No, Miss Charmaine. Miss Tanya, no, my love. I will tell Miss Hoover that she has one number. You got one number, Miss Hoover. Oh, Miss Barrows, you got one number two. No, boo. Not at all. Nope, nope, nope. No, Miss Wade. No, Miss Raglan. Sorry. Miss Cindy, no. It's hard this time, huh? Because we're doing 35 <laughs> to 70. It makes it harder, you guys. No, no. Miss Ebony, you have one number. Miss Raglan, no. Miss Charmaine, girl, no, honey. You are very close, Miss Spring, very close. So if you're just joining us, we are playing Give Me Five. You have to give me five numbers between the numbers of 35 and 70. We already have our first three numbers, which are 37, 42, and 65. So you have to guess two additional numbers after that. We already have the first three numbers, 37, 42, 65. So everybody's answer should start with 37, 42, 65, and you should be guessing the two numbers after that. All right, so Sonia, you got one number, baby. You you almost got you almost got it. No, Miss Blackman, Miss Fair, you have one number. No numbers, Miss Brown, you have one number. Very close, Miss Tanya. No, Miss Angeline. No love. No, Miss Penny. Miss Crawford, you're close. Oh, Miss Moreland, you have one number. No, Miss Cindy. No, Miss Allen. No, love. Come on, y'all. I believe in y'all. No, Miss McNeil. No, Miss Charmaine. No. Miss Stacy, you have one number. No, Miss Angeline, my love, I love you, but you don't got it. Miss Lurch, nope. I've missed you, Miss Lurch. You've been hiding from me. Miss Wood, no. No, love. Let me see. No, Miss Sherry. No, Miss Will Williams. You have one number, Miss Taylor. No, my love. Nope. 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 I'm scrolling up. I'm going through the comments. Y'all dropping them fast, but I'm just making sure I'm going through. No, 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 my love. No, no. You have one number. No. No, no. Miss Charmaine, you have one number there. No, no, no. 
let me see what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop your comment on the screen if you have a number that should help y'all i'm helping y'all you have one number you have one number oh nope that was a mistake no numbers let's see one number one number one number one number one number y'all should know what that number is by now i'm trying to do it real quick one number nope sorry that was a mistake miss sonia you got that one number no no numbers there sorry miss mcneil one number charmaine one number i'm i'm helping y'all out with that one number crabs 42 that was cute but nope um let me see miss penny you have one number there now everybody gonna have that number <laughs> okay let's see all right so everybody has that one number y'all notice what number it was i see so i don't see anybody coming up with the fourth number or the fifth number I need to see that fifth number, baby. Nope. Miss Gabby, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Ooh, no, Miss Gabby. They coming in. Them and them these, these things coming in fast now, y'all. Y'all guessing fast now. No. No, everybody got that one number that I was hitting on. Miss Angeline. You got that one number, but you need the other one, baby. Oh, Miss Cindy, you have one number. I flashed that fast. Still one number there. Oh, Miss Francesca McNeil has one at all. She has all five numbers. 37, 42, 65, 53, and 50. Miss McNeil. Congratulations. Miss McNeil has one with her comment at 918. Let me see. Beauty, let me see. I got a text from my assistant that said. Beauty, but you don't have all five numbers. Beauty did not submit her answer incorrectly. So Miss McNeil has one. Miss McNeil has one. And what I'm going to give Miss McNeil. Let me see. I'm looking. I had another, I had another prize here in the office, but it's not in here anymore. So let's see. So I don't have to leave the office. Miss McNeil, I'm going to give you a 10 pack of sublimation mask, Miss McNeil. You're going to get a 10 pack of sublimation mask sent to your baby so that you can sub on them. You're going to get a 10 pack of sublimation mask. Yes, congratulations to Miss McNeil. So Miss Sonia won her two pack of sublimation ornaments. Miss McNeil won a 10 pack of sublimation mask. You both need to inbox me to let me know that you have won this prize. You have to tell me what it is that you won. And please give me your address and name and address and what it is that you want if you don't do that you will forfeit your prize so what i've decided to do you guys is send out all prizes once a month because it's been um crazy in my life y'all don't even know i was just in the er yesterday for like eight hours you guys um and you wouldn't be able to tell because y'all give me so much spirit like it, it makes me happy to do this if you don't know um, and it makes me feel better even when I don't feel good. Um, but um, I'm going to start sending out prizes um, once a month for our winners. That's also going to help me um, 
it's also going to help me um, um, regulate more things when I when I send the things out because this is all a part of my advertisement budget, right? I give away prizes every Friday. Sometimes we have two, three, or four winners um, doing the Friday nights, and I just need to have um, a better grasp on them and keep better track of them, you guys. So that's why I'm going to be doing prizes. I'm going to be sending them out once a month. Everybody that has won um, for the past three weeks, all of your prizes are going to go out this weekend along with tonight's winners. But starting next month, I am going to send out prizes once a month. So if you win um, at the end of the month, then you will get your prize mailed to you, okay? And I have a little sheet here, y'all, that I'm starting to keep now with all of my winners. But you have to make sure that you are sending me an inbox to let me know what you want, your name, and your address. Because everybody doesn't use their real name on Facebook. So, you know, I don't want um, the prize to be going to um, She's So Cute Jackson. Um, and it should say somebody else's name, okay? All right. So let me see. Uh, Thank you, thank you. I'm 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 feeling a lot, a lot, a whole lot better today. Yesterday was not a very good day, but today I am feeling a whole lot better. And again, it makes me happy to be on here and to be with you guys and to craft and to teach you guys things. Um, I want you guys to learn, learn, learn. Um, and if it's anything that um if it's anything that you want me to do on Friday Night Live that I haven't done, send me an inbox and say, hey, Gucci, can you do this or can you do that? And who knows? It might, I might actually do it. And if I do do your suggestion, I'll shout you out and say, this person suggested that we do this. Okay? So if you have any idea of the things that you want, make sure that you hit me up in my inbox. Also, before we move on to our mask, just one last little, like, little cleanup thing, right? Um... DIY Crafting Network. The DIY Crafting Network is a network that I started last year when we did 25 days of craftsmas, right? So it's 25 days of free tutorials, 25 days of free crafting tutorials every day starting December 1st all the way to Christmas Day. I even did a live on Christmas Day. I made like a coffee mug basket. So it is going to be myself and a host of other talented young ladies. I'm going to really start trying to pump out advertisements this week for it for you guys to come over, join us and watch. If you want to be a part of um, 25 Days of Craftmas or you want to um, donate um, a prize to be given away. This actually helps you to promote your business because whatever prize I give away, of course, I'm going to promote it on the live or some of the other young ladies will promote, will be promoting that product on the live for our winners. So if you would like to be involved in Craftmas in that way, where you donate, um, a prize to be given away during our lives um, and have your business advertised. You can inbox me. Or if you want to be actually doing a live video for 25 Days of Craftsmen, um, teaching a craft, teaching a craft, then let me see. Oh my goodness, beauty that. Yes, so girl, I'm I'm going through the same thing. I have a kidney infection and a kidney stone right now. So I can totally understand it, honey. I can totally understand it. But um, 25, 25 days of craftsmanship, you guys, again, if you want to be a part of it in a capacity where you want to go live and you want to do a live for 25 days of craftsmanship, inbox me. If you want to be a part of it in the capacity where you want to donate a prize to be given out during 25 days of Christmas, that will help to promote your business. I'm not charging you for a promotion. I'm not asking you for a promotion fee. All I'm asking is that you donate a prize to be given out um, to the viewers um, while we're doing our lives for 25 days of Christmas. So if you want to be a part of it in that way, please inbox me. Let me see. You're very welcome, Miss Clark. That's what I'm here for. And you you guys give me just as much joy as I give you. We learn things from each other every Friday, right? Because sometimes it's things that um, I may not know or it may be um, the first time that I'm trying something and I want to experience with you guys um, and see, you know, who knows what, who can help. That's what we're all here for, to help and uplift each other. Coming into January with the new site, there are going to be new things that are popping off. 
um for my birthday in september we did this thing where we went on zoom and we were just like lounging and we were sipping on our little alcohol somebody had milk and cookies because they don't drink <laughs> but we hung out for like maybe like two hours and so i want to bring that into the new year and i'm going to be calling it crafts lounge and we're going to come in um it's going to be by invite zoom will allow me to have up to 100 people I do want to keep it pretty intimate, so no more really than like 20 to 30 people um, doing the craft lounge. So if you don't get in one month, you may get in the next month. But I just want it to be a time where we can sit, we can sit, um, we can either work on a craft that somebody wants to work on, we can talk about crafting, you guys can pick my brain, we can talk about adult stuff, parenting, whatever the case may be, it's just going to be a, um, a, girl, a virtual girls' night doing craft lounge miss ebony i know you had the milk and cookies <laughs> um miss moreland it does not matter what it is that you would like to donate as a prize it could be anything it could be um a personalized cup or you know um, a coupon to come to your store for 20 percent off or whatever the case may be whatever you guys would like to donate That's right, Miss Wood. We 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 seen your cute little grandbabies that night. That night, but yeah, it was it was really fun, and we had a really good time. And somebody was like, "We should do this all the time." And so I want to bring that in again, starting in January, starting off with the new year. I want to do it like maybe every third Saturday of the month or something like that, uh, where we come in and we have um, the craft lounge. Okay um if you guys haven't followed me already make sure that you follow me gucci crafts on youtube gucci crafts on facebook all right let's get into our very last craft you guys um our very last section um of the live which is going to be bring it over and i wanted to show you guys photo p tonight but our game went a little bit longer than i thought it was going to go so we may pick up on photo p doing another craft because you can do so much on photo p but um let me share my screen You can inbox me, Miss Allen, and I will let you know how to send in your submissions. Oh, excuse me, y'all. That was a nasty bird. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna move, we're gonna move our little mock-up over to the side. And we're gonna go. This is Silhouette Studio. I am using the business edition because I'm able to take things outside of the business edition, but you can do the same exact thing that I'm getting ready to do in the free version, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and select merge under file because I want to merge over the document and I believe it was in download and it is called, here it is. All right. So basically what I did is I took a picture of one of the sublimation masks and I removed the background from it. And you can do that with remove BG um, or you can go online and find an image of a mask, right? You just need this image of a mask. Now I'm going to go over to my trace panel. I'm going to select trace area. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to trace this. And I'm going to hit trace. Now this can go away. It's highlighted here. I'm gonna go to object. I'm gonna say release compound path. And now what I'm gonna do is highlight. I'm gonna go to my modify panel. And I'm gonna go subtract all. Now I have this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna take this portion and turn it black. Make sure that my line and I could definitely go in and clean this up a little bit more um, by doing an internal offset. 
Let's see how much it'll clean it up for me. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more. Get a nice, a cleaner stroke. Oh, it kicked me out. Silhouette wasn't feeling me. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Look at Cameo kicking people out of places. <laughs> It kicked me out. So hold on. Let's see if it'll go ahead and let me back in. It felt like I was doing too much, I guess. All right. Now let's see if it will give me my recovered document. Ooh, it may not give it to me the way it was because it kicked me out. Yep. So recover my document, but it's only going to give me the Paw Patrol because it, it it booted me out itself. Girl, Queen is just being crazy. And I ain't even using Queen. I'm just trying to use the program. See? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Here we go. And what I'll do, because I, I just, I don't want it to be like not cleaned up. And this is just what I'll do is I'll just remove the white part from this black part. I won't trace it again. Um, because I'm being such a stickler. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go trace by color. I'm going to hit this button. And I got all the white. I'm going to try to be as smooth as I can. Because I want my black lines to be pretty smooth. And then I'm going to say trace. Oh, I should have said trace and detach. Dang it. So we're going to trace and detach. All right. So now I have my middle portion here. This is fine that this stays black. Now I can go in and I can make this whatever, right? So I'm going to go and we're going to make us a mask real quick. No, we never have those issues on DS. We don't, but we also can't trace in Cricut. So, you know, we, we can't, Miss Olivia, we can't really talk about their program because they program better than our program, so. I'm going to just sit back on talking about that program. <laughs> but I'm going to come in and let me see. I kind of like this ombre look. All right. So I'm going to go there. And then we're just going to find something to merge. Let's merge that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take this and we're going to bring it front. Make it a little smaller. And there we have a mass mock-up. We can put whatever we want on the inside of there. But remember, the same thing I said with the t-shirt. Make sure you can recreate what it is that you are mocking up. So if I want to do this mask, I need to know that I can get in there and I can actually recreate um, this mask. Right? Um, and then um, you can do a mock-up. We can merge. Where's that t-shirt? Merge this in there. We'll just duplicate this. I 
I'm gonna make one. I just matched the shirt. Can we just turn this back white? And this is actually how I got, I did my mock-ups for the actual website. Oopsies. Go back. We're going to group this. Dang it. Okay. We'll group that. And in seconds, we have a shirt and mask mock-up. I didn't have to make this shirt. I didn't have to print out the mask. Take them and group them. And I can put them onto a white background or I can make a colorful background if I like. Let's see if we can get our Doppler to work tonight. There we go. That's the Doppler function and silhouette. And let's send this back. And we can make that an Instagram post. We can post this on our SD store. We can post this anywhere. No, this background color is not in silhouette. What this background color is, is digital paper or just a glitter background. So if you wanted to find it, you can go over, um, let's do the screen going to look a little funny, y'all. Sorry. Uh, let's go Google, um, ombre, uh, glitter, um, wallpaper. Yeah, and you just find it, find whatever ombre color that you want. You can bring it over in the silhouette. This one's pretty. Or um, on uh, um, design bundles. Um, if you go to your free designs. And I believe it's under graphics. You'll find really cute um, wallpaper that's free. This is what I use for a lot of my chip bags. Right? So, like, this would be more like summer digital paper. So, it's called digital paper. You can use your digital paper for mock-ups, for your chip bag linings, um, to slice shapes out of. And you can bring these digital papers into Cricut as well. And these are free. Y'all, I'm, I'm all about free and especially free for commercial use. That means I can use this product without somebody suing me saying that, um, you know, it's their product right, and I can't use it. So you can find a lot of digital paper. So that's basically what my background is. It's just digital paper or I go on Google and I search for wallpaper. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for the tips and tricks and the whips and the dips, babies. But that came out super cute. Simple, like I said, very, very simple mock-up, okay? So if you guys are going to make mock-ups, if you're going to do coffee mugs, if you want to do T-shirts, masks, I would love to see them. And so if you use the hashtag FNL mock-up, FNL mock-up, I will be able to search it. Yes, you can save the background or the wallpaper to silhouette. So let me show you. Let me show y'all something. Um, let's go get that one. And so two ways that I could save this glitter ombre to silhouette. Now I saved it as a fill pattern. So two ways I could save it. I could either come here and I can go copy. Now I can copy this image. And I can paste it. And of course, I would have to clean it up a little bit because it's got this thing at the bottom, but whatever. I can take it and I can then um, 
save it to my library. If I can save selection in Silhouette, save selection is going to save whatever you have highlighted. So I can save it to the library. And I can save it as, I can say wallpaper pink. And I can decide if I want to save it into pattern. Well, it won't let me save it into patterns here. So I'm going to go, okay. It wants me to sign in, whatever. It'll still save. And I can go over to my library. And there it is right there. So I can take it and then I can move it. Is it going to let me move it? I don't know. It won't let me move it to patterns. But if I want to save it in my patterns, let me show you another way. I can go here, right click it. I can save it as an image. Oh, it wants to save it as a web file. Let's get another one. That one, it only wants to save it as a web file. So let's say save as image. It's a JPEG. I'm going to say pink, purple, glitter, whatever. And I'm going to save it. All right, so I have my silhouette open. I'm going to move my silhouette over here to the side. I'm going to open up my folder here. Quick access, what I just downloaded. Let's get rid of that. So here's the pink glitter. I'm going to select patterns here. Here's that pink glitter that we just saved. I'm going to grab it and just drop it over here. And I'm not going to log in and it's still going to save that glitter for me. Now I can go back to my design. I'm going to click here. Go back here to my field pattern. And it is right there at the very top in patterns. I'm going to click on it and there it is. Yeah, so what I'll do uh, with the um, with the mask is I can turn this into an SVG for you guys. Um, I have a I know I have a cleaner version of it, so I'll get a cleaner version of it that the lines are very clean. I'll turn it into an SVG and it'll be on the website tomorrow as a free file for you guys to be able to download. So you'll be able to go in and download and and with the SVG um, you'll be able to change the the lining of the mask color like say if you have colorful um masks that have pink or purple or orange or whatever around your lining if i turn this file into an svg file then you'll be able to change it um, and you just leave you leave your center the way it is and you can turn it into any color you want so it'll be on the website i'll post on the gucci crafts page which means you got to be following the gucci crafts page you got to hit that bell so you get the notifications so that you know when i have posted that the svg will be free for you guys to go get on the site it's gonna i'm telling y'all mock-ups 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 are going to save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars when you are going through and doing things for your business um simply because again um thank you i didn't know how to say patterns there you go boom i see i taught you something hey um okay cool miss olivia yeah the math the sublimation masks are going to go on sale on the website too for black friday so the whole entire site is going to be on sale like i've been telling you guys if i can't debut the brand new site by black friday which i've been trying to really push myself for but me going through that, this stuff that I'm going through right now is kind of holding me back a little bit. But if it's not up by Black Friday, I'm still going to have a major blowout Black Friday sale. So no worries. There'll still be a Black Friday sale. Okay. Um, and I'll let you guys know. You're very welcome. Thank you for sharing, Miss Spring. I see that you were a sharer. Um, so I'm going to close this out tonight, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Again, make sure that you are following Gucci Crafts on Facebook, that you're following me on YouTube. I am live every Friday night with Friday Night Live, FNL, every night, every Friday night at 7.30 PST. Um, we're going to be live on Facebook and YouTube now. I was just doing Facebook for ever until um, Miss Shaquille Bell hooked me up with the plug for StreamYard so that I can stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time, okay? So make sure that you guys are following me. Make sure that you hit the notification bell. 
for YouTube. I will also post on YouTube because we have people on YouTube that are watching. Um, I will post it um, in my comment section on YouTube. So you have to make sure that you hit the notification bell on YouTube as well because it lets you know when I post videos and when I actually make a social post um, to YouTube so that you'll know um, that I've posted that mask template for the free. Um, and I will go ahead and add the t-shirt template in there as well. I found that just on Google, but I actually love that template simply because it has that backdrop behind it or that drop shadow behind it, which makes it 3D and gives it like a dramatic look. So no matter what color you put it on top of, even if you put it on white, it's still going to pop off of the white. Okay. Yes, Team StreamYard. You're very, very welcome. Thank you so much, Ms. Wood. I love you guys. Thank you for all of you who shared. Thank you for everybody that um, dropped stars and stickers. I love, love, love you. Until next Friday, I will see you next time, you guys. Bye.